All right, Spatch Pad Podcast, we back. Yeah. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're going to be reacting to the Rebel Moon track. So let's get it, man. Alright man, yeah, so Rebel Moon trailer has come out. So for those who don't know who the GOAT is, Zack Snyder is the GOAT, you know what I'm saying, of filmmaking, cinema, photography, does his own cinema photography, does his own directing, does his own writing, does everything for his movies. And he did 300. He did Watchmen, Justice League, Snyder version, not Josh Whedon version, and um, Batman vs Superman, Man of Steel, Dawn of Justice, you know, a couple other movies. I'm probably missing one or two, but he's mostly known for 300, I believe. 300 was his biggest hit that everybody that everybody knows. This is Sparta. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Zack Snyder is a visual genius. So we're going to look at this epic trailer. Let's go. Know the story of the Princess Issa. Mama, oh, In myth, she was called the Redeemer. It was said this child would stop the madness of war. That she was to usher in a new age of peace and compassion. Mama, oh, I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. And love for a child I could not save. What do you think they want? Everything. I found her. They are a child of war. I was taught that love is weakness. There is a difference between justice and revenge. There is a price to pay for your defiance. One woman. I do love this part. Hold on. I don't want no trouble. We're not here to bring any. Are you ready? You and I both know fear. Let's show them that we're not afraid. Let's show them we're more than the shackles that bind us. A king is a man, and a man can fail. But a myth is indestructible. The time has come for all that you love. Protect each other and show them no mercy. among you is willing to die for what you believe. Man, 
<laughs> oh man, Zack Snyder, man. Unmatched, man. This guy. All right, so I'm gonna start this. We don't really know too much about Rebel Moon. I do know that Zack Snyder pitched the idea to Disney to do a Star Wars movie, and they they turned them down. So it was his own IP, of course, and this was, I'm not going to say this was the movie, but this was a spinoff of what it was supposed to be. And he just took it and he turned it into his own, but he had this, he had this idea for, I believe, about 20 years, and he finally got it done by Netflix. Um, he's a visual genius. Like, his movies look so far ahead of time. Like, if you look at, I believe, uh, I believe, uh, what's that called? Uh, Watchmen came out, I believe, 2012. Mm. And if you watch Watchmen today, it's it's still better than probably 99% of comic book movies that came out visually. Yeah, you know I'm saying just just the scope of it. And that came out almost what 10, 15, 20 years ago, something like that. Um so him coming out, he only makes certain movies. So Zack Snyder, when he drops a movie, it's a big deal. Like he has a, a he has a cult following. You know what I'm saying? Like you just type his name in Google. Zack Snyder and anything he says is like people just clam to it. Yeah, you know I'm saying from all his movies. So him doing Rebel Moon is like a whole new IP that no one's ever heard of. All these characters, are all new characters that no one's ever seen before. And he has three movies coming out. Two, uh, those two movies are already made, but he has a third one. He's a trilogy. So we're gonna see what happens. Who's the main character? Who's the antagonist? Who's gonna die? Who's gonna live? And knowing Zack Snyder, if you've seen Army of the Dead, that was another one. If you've seen Army of the Dead, then you already know how he goes. He goes hard. And he has two versions of the movies. He has an adult version, and he has a, a, a non, a, well, for not for kids, but not an, a non-adult version. You know what I'm saying? Not not so mature. You know what I mean? Because when he, when he kills off characters, yeah, you 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 know when they die. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, ain't no whistling. So, so yeah, man. I'm gonna toss it to you, man. What you think, man? That trailer was off the hook. That trailer was pretty good. Um, I'm not familiar with all of Zack Snyder's movies besides the ones that he did for the comic books, um, and and of course 300. You know, what I mean, I'm familiar with those. Uh, so seeing him do something like this, I could already see the Zack Snyder look. So if I wasn't, you know what I mean? Even first time look, I would know that Zack Snyder just off the style alone. But, um, uh, the, the visual looks crazy. Uh, I, so what you saying, this was like a, supposed to be a spinoff of Star Wars. That's what you're saying. Well, this was, he wanted to create a, uh, he wanted to create a Star Wars like movie but he wanted some of the characters from star wars to appear i guess in his movie uh-huh. and they turned him down but this is his own ip this is not like somebody else's ip he created this mm-hmm. so since he since he they turned him down he just took the 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 these characters from out of star wars that was supposed to be or spin off into his movie he just created his own version of it you know what i'm saying and I believe that I believe what's going to happen here is let's just say this is rebel moon going to be bigger than star Wars. Of course not. Star Wars been around before people were even born. Yeah. I'm star Wars been around since the, I think the late sixties or seventies or something like that. So of course not or something like that. I don't know exactly when star Wars came out, but it's old. You know what I'm saying? Today, is Star Wars relevant? No. Is Rebel Moon going to be better than Star Wars today? Absolutely. I will say that. Absolutely. I think that this this is not a continuation of Star Wars. This is something new, and I believe that. Because I, I hate when people say stuff like, well, it's more like this is like this. This is like the everything. There's nothing new under the sun. Everything has something taken from somewhere. Yeah. You know Even Star Wars took from Star Trek. 
know what I'm saying? So they definitely so, did. Yeah. So when people say stuff like that, I just laugh because I say, listen, bro, like you, so you can't make a sci-fi epic because I see people say, well, this looks like doom or this looks like, like star Wars or this is like, like, and you said, you said that about doom. You said doom looks like star Trek. And then you said this about star Wars. It looks like star Wars. Star Trek looks like Star Wars. It's like, when are y'all going to just say, okay, let's just enjoy the movie. And at this point, I'm not really worried about that because I'm just want to see where the character's going to go. They got Jama, Jama High 2 in it. You know what I'm saying? So I believe the girl's name is Sophia. I can't remember her last name. She's in it. The boy uh, from, uh, the boy from, uh, from uh, Sons of Anarchy. He's in it. And... It's just, it just looks good, man. This just looks good. I can't even say that. It just looks good, man. Like Zack Snyder just, he just knows his, he knows his work. It's like, like, come on, bro. Like who, who's the guy, the, uh, the black guy that I just seen in the video. Jamal Hantu. J oh, Jamal Hantu. What comic book movie did he play in? Because I, I, I know he played in a few comic book movies. I just can't remember off the top um, of my head. He was in. Uh, he was in the Marvel movie. I know that. I, I um, just did. Which one was? Which one was he in? No, was he in Marvel? I know he was in the Marvel. He was okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. He was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's one of the guards that was uh, that went after uh, Star Lord when he went 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 inside the cave when the, the first one. Yeah. Okay. He was yeah. Damn. He was in where? Shazam. He, he was, was the, in Shazam. He was, he was the he was the the uh, the older god Shazam. Yeah, the yeah, you were right. You're absolutely. Yeah, he was right, in Shazam. Yeah. I just remember that. I don't know why I remember mm -hmm. that. But he's in a lot of movies. John Hunter was that guy, man. He he's mm -hmm. that guy. He's that guy. Man. He's he's he, he's that guy. He was in Blood Diamond. Yeah, classic. Mm -hmm. He's that guy, man. So, I, again, man, there's nothing really you could say about Zack Snyder. Either you love his work or you hate his work, but you can't say it visually it's not good because visually he's way ahead of these guys that's making these movies. Like these movies I see today, I'm like, this is special effects? Like, come on, bro. You can see the difference now. You compare these movies, you can his movies to the movies of today. Look at those movies that's out, Flash and stuff like that. Look at the movies and you look at his movie and you say, it just looks beautiful. These Jones look like they just, it looks like CGI. You know what I'm saying? His movies look like it's real. So anyway, man, Zack Snyder, Rebel Moon. You know what it is, man. We out of here. Peace. See ya.